Hello, my name is Marcel Dendler. I am a sales director at Skier Systems. And today I would like to introduce our latest i beam trimming technology on piezo electric materials. In the first part of this presentation, I will introduce the i beam trimming process and also our Skier Trim 200 system. In the second part, I will show two application examples, including process results. Einbeam trimming is a kind of special Einbeam milling process. It is illustrated here with this short video. Basically, we are using a focused Einbeam. Focused means about one centimeter in width. And with this Einbeam, we scan with a varying velocity over the vapor. By controlling the dwell time or velocity, we are able to precisely control the material removal on each position. So why are we doing this? For some manufacturing steps, it is very important to have a very good thickness uniformity. For a typical deposition process, let's say from a magneton sputter system, you get maybe about 1% non-uniformity as it is shown here. With the ion beam trimming process, we can remove in the wafer center a little bit more material, on the edge not so much, in order to get a perfectly uniform layer. The ion beam trimming process is always some additional step in your manufacturing, and the only purpose of the ion beam trimming is to improve the manufacturing yield. Since we are using argon ions, which bombard the surface and activate the material, the process has to be carried out in a vacuum process chamber, which is shown here on the left side. On the right side, we see a cassette loading with an automatic handling robot. Inside of this vacuum chamber, there is an ion beam source and also an access system with a wafer chart, which can accommodate up to 200 millimeter wafers. What is very important, especially for processing of piezoelectric materials like lithium tantalate or lithium myobat, is an effective wafer cooling in order to avoid wafer breakage during processing. First, I would like to start with a, yeah, let's say, classical example. All mobile phones have different kind of frequency filters in order to be able to send or receive on the right frequency. One kind of those frequency filters is a so-called F-bar, free bulk acoustic resonator. There is a piezoelectric layer which has maybe around one micrometer thickness, and on top and button there is an, is an electrode. And by applying an oscillating voltage to, this, to those electrodes, there will be also a mechanical oscillation of this aluminum nitride layer. The resonance frequency or the oscillation frequency is defined by the acoustic velocity within this aluminum nitride layer and also by the thickness of this layer. So if you want to manufacture a thousand of those devices on one wafer, one has to make sure that the aluminum nitride thickness is exactly the same over the wafer, otherwise those resonators or filter would work at different frequency and your manufacturing yield would be very low. In this example, we have an aluminum nitride layer with a thickness around yeah, 460 nanometer, ranging from 450 to 470 nanometer. We applied the ion beam trimming process to this 200 millimeter wafer, and you see on the color here that after trimming, it is um, significantly more uniform. In numbers, we improved the standard deviation from 3.4 nanometer to 0.3 nanometer. 
For this 200 millimeter wafer, the process took a little bit more than eight minutes. Finally, it's not only important to improve the non-uniformity on a wafer, but also that all devices are exactly at the right frequency. And this is nicely shown in this histogram plot here. On the right side, the distribution before trimming, and on the left side, we see that all measurement points are nicely centered around 400 nanometer thickness. We investigated also how the surface roughness is changing. So the trimming process is, is using an argon ion beam with around one kilo electron volt energy. And this argon ion beam is sputtering or etching the surface. So it can be expected that also surface roughness might change. For aluminum nitride, the surface roughness is even improving. So as deposited, RA is around 2.1 nanometer after trimming nearly a factor of two better, 1.1 nanometer. Another interesting material is lithium tantalum. There is a second or a new kind of, of frequency um, filters coming up, which is called guided SOAR. And piezoelectric wafer, lithium tantalat wafer, will be bonded on a silicon wafer with a silicon dioxide layer on top. And this bonded wafer needs to be thinned down to a few micrometer by grinding and, and polishing. And on top of this piezoelectric layer, an electrode will be built in order to make your frequency filter. The polishing technology is not so precise. So after polishing, there are still some remaining thickness variation of this lithium tantalat layer, in this case shown here of 1.5 micrometer. But all devices should have the same properties, so a very uniform layer thickness is needed. We applied the ion beam trimming process to this lithium tantalat layer and improved the standard deviation from 439 nanometer to 34 nanometer. The removal is rather high, 855 nanometer on this 100 millimeter wafer. And this takes a bit more than half an hour. Again, on the histogram, it is nicely shown how yeah, the width of the thickness distribution is improving. All measurement points are centered around the target thickness of 1600 nanometer. Especially for Surface acoustic wave filters, the surface roughness is very critical. So if, so if the surface roughness would be worse after trimming, this would be seen also in the device properties. Here we see an AFM measurement before and after trimming, and the roughness is staying about the same even after this iron compartment. Skier Systems is a company located in Germany. We are around 150 employees and manufacturing special vacuum processing equipment. Besides the iron beam trimming technology I just introduced to you, we offer also iron beam milling systems, dual iron beam sputter systems, and also magnetron sputter solutions. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.